In my last video, I discovered just how powerful the face scale rogue can be, especially with its last active ability, the ice, that does a buttload of damage. So in this video, I decided to test it out with a different weapon and a different playstyle. Instead of going for defensive helmet and boots, I'm just going pure out all damage to see if I can one-shot people through their mounts with claws. Okay, so real quick before we get into the clips, looking at the build that I'm using here, we obviously have the claws for our weapon, a face scale rope for our chest piece, and then we are using the royal sandals for that extra damage boost on our boots, a cowl of purity for even more damage on our helmet, and a demon cape on our cape for you get even more damage. And as you may have expected by now, our food and potions are both just purely for damage with poison potions and beef stews. So basically, just a note on how this works. I activate all of my buffs, then I jump on people with Shadow Edge, lock them down if the claws and the beam came under them, and try to finish them off with a Cowl of Purity Beam. For this video, I used tier 7 equivalent gear with not the most specs, so every piece between around 1300 to 1400 IP. And if everything goes smoothly, you get the combo off, we're looking at about 3000 to 4000 damage. So the plan for this video was to go into the mists for two reasons. One is because the mount healths are reduced to a maximum of 900, which makes it easier to go through the mounts and kill people. And two, because the mist has tons of rats and nobody likes rats, including me. And this is the perfect build for exterminating rats. Let me show you what I mean. He almost got the turnaround on me. <laughs> Look at all of these rats. Oh my god. I have the pickings here. Oh my god, who do I go for? Alright, this cursed guy here. He's won the lottery. Standing close. Squishy. Oh, he got the cleric robe off. No. I probably can chase them down. Oh yeah, he died. <laughs> no, please! <laughs> I was helping you! I was killing the rats on Mercy! Oh my god, he's full HP! Uh, I think I'm actually dead here. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess I just outbrawl him. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Now, you might be watching this and think, wow, this is really good. What if you kill people that weren't mounted already? You can do an extra 900 damage and basically one-shot anybody. Uh, yes, but also no. As you can see by these clips, it does work sometimes, but the problem is that 99% of people that run in the mist or really any solo content run Hunterhood or something similar to Hunterhood like a cleric robe that would completely shut down this combo. And so the reason that I prioritize going for people on mounts is that after you're dismounted, there is a brief period in time where you cannot act, sort of like the global cooldown. And because the damage from this combo comes out so fast, by the time people can act, they're already super low HP, which gives me a good chance at killing them, even going through their mount first. In fact, it's actually easier to fight people when they start mounted than if they were to start dismounted. Now, that's only partially true. This build is actually really bad for PvP if the other person knows what they're doing and they're in high enough IP or tankiness to just even barely survive the combo. Take this clip, for example. This is the correct reaction to getting hit by this combo. Now, I kind of mess up the combo, but you can see 
As soon as this guy is able to act, he immediately spams his Hunter Hood first to do a bunch of damage to get his resistances up, then he immediately spams his strongest defensive spell, which amplifies his HP, and then he immediately goes into his healing. As long as you don't die to the combo outright, and you don't panic, I have absolutely nothing left, so all you have to do is turn around on me, use all of your spells at once, all of your healing and defensives, and there's basically nothing I can do to finish you off, you can very easily kill me. On the other side of this, take this as a PSA, if you're running out in a solo build like the Mist, take at least one defensive spell with you, even one resistance potion as a swap, because against a full damage combo like this, if you have zero defensives in your build, there's nothing you can do except for run. Anyways, let's get back to exterminating some rats, because, you know, that's what we're all here for. That's actually a decent amount of kill I wonder what he had on him. Man, that was so clean though. That is perfect. Where did he go? Oh no. What happened to that guy? What? editing big lips here this guy is not houdini he just had an assassin jacket and an undead cape he proc his assassin jacket to cancel the claws and then i hit my call of purity on him which proc his undead cape so basically he got invis into another invis and just basically just disappeared oh my god that was clean i did so much extra damage there too i didn't even need the call of purity. Oh, I got the crack for a buff. Oh, I don't know if I can chase this down. It's gonna be close. That was an armored horse. I can't believe I actually basically one shot him through an armored horse. No! Okay, he's he's some context for this clip, there was the super high P death givers on the Wisp spawn here, so I teamed up with the cursed staff guy. I let him take the Wisp in hopes that I could find a little rat trailing us, and it worked perfectly. Oh my god, look how many people there are. Everyone's just waiting. Um, if this doesn't perfectly slow with the miss, I don't know what does. Alright, this guy's trying to wrap the fight. I'm gonna go see if I can surprise kill him while he's not expecting it. <laughs> Rat exterminate. No, don't go for me, come on. There's too many rats, I can't exterminate them all. Man, looks like she's still here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, how they can I hit? Alright. Oh, I had another rat comes along. Oh my god. Oh, this is never ending. In the end, I escaped yet again, exterminated two rats, and got basically all of the loot. Not bad for a day in the life of a rat exterminator. Right.